A lot of these athletes spend their entire lives, at least a decade plus, working toward Olympic gold. And now that the games are over for many of them, and there's not going to be any more games for a lot of them, it's right. back to normal life. We wanted to get some perspective on exactly what that takes. Let's get to KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan asking former Olympians, especially ones from our area, how involved they remain with their sport once the games end. So, Charlie, how do they manage life after you work so hard for yeah. one pivotal moment and it's over? Yeah, well, there's all about balance, and you can really take that same kind of energy and put it toward other things in life beyond just sports. Lindsay, that's what I heard. I also had a chance to speak with Muna Lee, who is a sprinter, and she said she really wanted to be on a track like this one when she was watching all those uh, events during these Tokyo Games over the last couple of weeks. I spoke with Shannon Vreeland as well, a swimmer from Blue Valley West. She told me that she was setting her alarms. She was waking up early. She was staying up late so she could watch all the swimming events in Tokyo and in the Olympic trials in Omaha uh, a few months ago. She said she, uh, of course, got a gold medal in 2012 that you're seeing there, but she said she's so, you know, in love with the sport and has a, a passion for swimming still that she could never fully remove herself from it, even if she's not swimming competitively anymore. It's something I've always loved. I'm still um, involved with different committees for USA Swimming. Um, I just, I love the sport. I love staying involved and I, I absolutely love watching it and watching it. Uh, the team continued to just do very well on the international stage. Watching the team continue to do so well internationally, the USA won 30 swimming medals alone, just 30 swimming medals in this Olympics here in Tokyo, which, believe it or not, is actually three less than what they won in Rio in 2016. They got 33 medals in, sw in the pool there, guys. That's wow. wild. It's impressive all the way around, though. How, how did their Olympic experiences propel them to careers after the Games? What are they doing now? Yeah, so Vreeland is a lawyer now, and she said that uh, she really gained a lot of confidence from the Olympics, and really that gold medal motivated her to kind of like, there's nothing she can't accomplish in life, you know? So she went to law school, she got all that done. Muna Lee, she stayed with track. She is now a coach here in the area, and she is just, you know, keeping in that, uh, in that same lane, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, here, teaching folks what she learned. We see what you did, Charlie. Yeah, we, thanks, we got Charlie. it. Thank you very much.